To successfully store pulses on farm, you need to remember three things. Careful handling to avoid mechanical damage, managing moisture and managing pests. Ideally, pulses should be harvested at around 14% moisture content. This will maintain the best quality and reduce the chance of mechanical damage. The other thing to remember is to reduce the number of times that you have to handle the grain. So straight from the header to the truck, straight into the silo. Avoid using a chaser bin or multiple handlings if you, if you can. If you've got a conveyor belt, that'll be much softer on the grain than an auger. If you have to use an auger, find one that has a gap between the, the flight and the tube of half the width of the grain. Keep your auger full, operate at slow revs, and if you can, operate it at around 30 degrees. Cone bottom silos are best for storing pulses because they're easy to fill and empty. We we'll need to remember to use the centre fill and empty holes for pulses. Because they have a higher bulk density, there's a chance that the silo could collapse if they're loaded unevenly. If we're storing lentils, we should never use a corrugated walled silo. Because of the way they run out of the silo, they can collapse the wall as they empty and make the silo fail. So while 14% moisture content is the ideal for harvesting pulses, 12% is the ideal moisture content for storing. If we can't dry the grain down to 12% immediately, aeration cooling can be used to hold that grain in storage safely until it can be dried down. Without aeration cooling, it can be prone to mould and insect damage. Aeration cooling can be achieved with airflow rates of two to three litres per second per tonne. Remembering that if we store something like lentils, that will reduce the capacity of the aeration system. We can get around that by not filling the silo as full or by increasing the aeration system capacity. If you're planning to hold pulses that are high in moisture for three months or longer, you'll need to either dry them down or blend them with drier grain. For aeration drying, much higher airflow is required than for cooling, so we're talking about 15 to 25 litres per second per tonne. The most common insects found in pulses are the cow pea weevil and the pea weevil, both of which can be found with a probe trap or by sieving a sample of grain from the bottom or the top of the silo if it's safe to do so. In this case we've found rust red flower beetle, which we're controlling with aeration cooling, keeping that grain below 20 degrees Celsius. When it comes time that we actually want to kill the insects, you know, control them at all their life stages, our only options in pulses is with a controlled atmosphere or a fumigant. If we're using phosphine as an example, we need to make sure we follow the label directions, the withholding periods, and use all the proper safety equipment. As we're storing any grain on farm, storing pulses successfully is about good management and good hygiene. To contact your local grain storage specialist and to see a whole number of resources, go to storedgrain.com.au.